I'm trying to adjust in my chair. Oh, oh shit. do that again. <laughs> Shut up, Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> can you belch on cue? <laughs> Hey, everybody. Uh, good afternoon. This is actually just raging. Of course, we're live because we can hear the notifications. But it is <laughs> I'm trying. Cold. I'm trying. <laughs> it is Saturday, July 10th, 2021. And we are actually just raging. Hold on a second. We've got an intro here somewhere. As soon as I find it. There you go. You ready? Do it. All right. Raging. All right, you guys. So um, I don't know how long I'm going to be here because I've got thunderstorms in the area and I've got two 70-pound-ish uh, dogs sitting under my desk. One is snuggled up against my feet because I'm her whoopee. Fuck. You hear it, that? Oh, shit. I'm having internet problems myself. <laughs> So, uh, like, if I disappear because I lost internet and power and stuff, well, and Nita, Nita will probably have. have the same issue, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, hey, Rich. Uh, thank you for tuning in. So, yeah, wherever it is that you guys are tuning in from, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. We are simulcasting uh, through Ragin AVC, Geek Insider, Comics and More New Jersey, as well as Indie Vault, and we appreciate everybody who's tuning in. Uh, again, Throw some love. If you go to the different channels like Indie Vault, Rage In, and Geek Insider, you're going to see featured channels. Make sure you go across the bottom there and hit the subscribe button. I know that uh, I've got a channel there, Arrow 4.0, Arrow Comics, I should say, 4.0, um, as well as the Indie Princess. She's got a channel that she's building up because tonight she's got backer shots, and that is not an Indie Vault show because of their sponsors. So we just want to make sure that we give her some love and attention. Nita mm -hmm. is a uh, co-host for Backer Shots. I don't know who your guests are tonight. Uh, I know JT Malloy, I think Danny Quick, and there's some, ah, uh, there's somebody else. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, there's three people tonight. So we'll have three separate campaigns running. I'll post those out in a little bit. And yeah, and for cool. and for every backer, uh, the ladies take a shot. So um, I think as long as I have power, I'll probably be there, and I may take a generous sip. I don't do shots. It hurts too much the next day. I'm not going to do it. Um, and so we'll see who, who the guests are and um, hopefully sell some books. That would be pretty cool. Right. Um, so yeah, I've got thunderstorms in the area. Nita, uh, your your um, postal carrier is an asshole. Oh, fucking right! You mean that origami folding bitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you've got a package specifically on the bottom. Don't dox yourself. I'm not. I'm okay. not. Oh, good. Look not, at you. <laughs> I'm not Canadian, Meredith. Scribbled it out. Oh, uh, I said that. You said, said that. It. Says Look. specifically, do, do not, not bend. bend. Look at this shit, y'all. Look at this shit. What in the hell? Uh, I would take pictures. I would go to the postmaster. Uh, I'm in the process of getting a P.O. box. Yeah, okay. Because she does this with Gemini mailers. Yeah. Like, I shit you not. You said you, the one you know time how forcefully she... you have to bend a, a fucking piece of cardboard to bend yep. a Gemini and mailer. And you said the one time she... she fisted it into your mailbox and the box itself was damaged because you were trying yes. to get it out. Like right. what the I hell? It worse trying to get it out of the mailbox and mm -hmm. it was, and it had original art in it. It was a package from Daphne Lage, which thank 
God, Daphne and JD packaged the Package. fuck out of their shit. They are yeah. really good. Between the um, cardboard box and the bubble wrap and, and everything, everything else. That okay. they, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this looks like it's going to be okay. Okay, good. So, so this is from Doris Faye Jones. It is. It is a sweet little thank you note inside. Oh, I support. love it. You know, and that's that's that personal touch is something that I think is really important Absolutely. because we have gotten away from postcards and writing letters, like stick a stamp on it and send it off to a friend. And I love that. And I don't, I don't even, I don't think a lot of people comprehend how much they miss it until they get one and it feels special. So we appreciate uh, we appreciate you, Doris, for, for, for doing sure. that, for, for putting sure. the special touch. And even when people put in a, um, a special note, it's not? It is not damaged. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Because that is original art. It is. And that's got I something. Was worried. I was worried. Mm -hmm. I got two weeks, too. There it is. Yeah? Oh, pretty. Pretty. I love, I love tulips. They're on the top five of my flower favorite flowers list. They're my number two. Are they? I have my number two. <laughs> <laughs> I've got carnations, tulips. Um, I love pansies, um, hydrangea. And what was the what was the other one? Was it daffodils? Mine daffodils, daisies? tulips, orchids. Daffodils and, and dates cups kind of like right in there too. So maybe six. But yeah. Nice. All right. That's really awesome. Nice. Yes. Um, Rich, you are more than welcome to share uh share in the Little Bastard promos group. You are more than welcome to share uh here if you've got a link and stuff like that. The only thing uh, is just like the reason why I don't share links directly through StreamYard to uh, YouTube is the, I, I've done it two times and uh, I, I was zapped flow. for it. Right. Like YouTube immediately stopped the stream. So I'm very careful because they, they will, they will get you for spam. Mm -hmm. And even though it's a different link and stuff like that, if you do a whole bunch, they, they will, get you and and that's happened to me twice when i was uh when i was doing well i think it was a geek speak show through geek insider so so yeah so okay so you've got a package there um i wanted to no no send it here i can't send it for you <laughs> you you can definitely drop your links um and even if you go back and drop them in comments and stuff like that so that they're there uh because a lot of times people when they watch the replay they don't always see the the live chat comments so definitely drop it in um when we're done come back and drop your links it's it's all good trust me um that's what we want to do we want to help promote other people and so um when you do it, it's okay. When I do multiples, yeah, yeah go, go ahead. ahead. Drop it go in ahead. here. Because I can flash it up on the screen, too, if, if I really wanted to. Um, unfortunately, it's just not clickable, you know, unless they're there in, in the room with you. Right. So, um, yeah. So, Little Bastard promos. I wanted to, somebody messaged me earlier today, uh, Robert Jashanik, and he is a writer of prose. And he asked me, he's like, is it okay if I post my link there? And I was like, yes. That's what it's for. Little Bastard promos is open to everybody if you are an independent creator. So, I, it, it doesn't matter if you are a writer of prose, if you are into comic books, if all you do is art, if music, all we you do, do is do not music. Care. Makers, it doesn't really matter. Indie creator, drop your links in there. We have those evergreen posts in the announcements tab where you can declare yourself. If you are an artist, drop in your artist link. If uh, make sure that it's evergreen, though. Okay, not not the crowd funds. We do everyday crowd fund posts where we have one thread that you can put 
your links in there. And it's easy for us to go in there, grab the links and put it on other social media. So, I mean, it's kind of a cheat for us, but it's a way for you guys to network and see who else is out there. So we are getting new people, you know, I mean, it's, it's, and it keep, it, it, it's not really a cheat. It just keeps his people fresh in our minds. So before I go and do my Twitter horror shit, I'll go over there and I'll freaking look yep. and be like, Oh, well, who's, Oh, okay. You, okay. I've yep. got you and and there've been a couple of new to me campaigns that I've seen <laughs> right. recently. So that's right. really cool. So make sure that you share that out with your friends also, because it is open. It is not limited to comic books. Uh, I know uh, I've been scripting for comic books this past year, but I have writer friends. I have artist friends who that's their lane and I don't want them to be excluded. So that is really, it's open to anybody who's out there hustling who's doing the, the work, who's trying to sell and make a living, you know, so it's a, it's a great networking tool. And um, I know I'm not the only one who's got friends in multiple genres and multiple areas. So yeah, share it out, uh, invite your friends. Uh, I highly recommend that you do because again, um, when, when they see a thread that they can participate in and they're dropping links and stuff like that, we'll see it and we can share it out on Twitter. Right. Because, I mean, honestly, our, our impressions are pretty impressive. Uh, um, uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. Between uh, what Nita's doing with uh, with uh, Rage and With, Rage and Promos, um, and then I've got my own as well as Geek Insiders and a couple of other, uh, other channels. I mean, the impressions across the board with the, what the two of us are doing is pretty impressive. So... Um, yeah, so the group is growing, and if you're only looking at our Facebook presence, then you be, might be like, "Who are these ladies?" You, but, you might uh, be missing out, especially because I've, I've I've totally stopped using Facebook. As I mean, I occasionally throw the, a, a thing here and there. Well, it's good because that's I'm where uh, everybody gathers, right? Everybody gathers there, and that's where they're comfortable. And it's like, oh, Facebook, Facebook, and it's just like, mm, okay, well, if you want a broader audience, let's go elsewhere. All right. I, I mean, let's let's keep Facebook. It's okay to have a presence there, but let's go elsewhere and see where your next audience is. Because you know that that's a problem that a, a lot of people have. I think is that they get comfy with selling to their comfy circle, that inner circle. All right. So like when you're first starting out, it might be like, hey, hey, mom and dad, buy my book. You know. Right. So you get your first sale and it's like, and it feels good to make that first sale, but it's like, it's family. All right. And so after mom and dad might be like kicking your brother or sister, or maybe, you know, in my case, I told my kids, I'm like, Hey, I need to move the dial. Like throw me a dollar on my campaign. Right. Those little fuckers only threw a dollar and they're like, nah, we don't want your book. You know, it was like, okay, well at least it moved the dial. <laughs> I got a background. Of it. Right, right. What I mean is like, you want the audience beyond them. Right. So, right. so you have your, your family, you have, you have your close friends. And then after that is uh, maybe your broader acquaintances, right? People who are like, you're on the fringe of their consciousness and, and you're like, Hey, you know, and they're like, Oh, I like your stuff. Okay. So you want their friends. Right. Now where are their friends hanging out? It might not be Facebook. It might be somewhere else. So, I mean, just like, the problem is to so many creators are so busy creating that uh, they don't have time to do the social media well, you know, and that's kind of like where we're coming in and I we're died. You just what? I need to learn to stay in tab. I'm sorry, Meredith. What did I'm you sorry. find? I want to know. I oh, you'll know. know. You'll know. When oh, we I will know. Here. Oh, you will know. <laughs> you'll totally know. Um, oh, I can't wait. Now, see, now I want to. I want to be like squirrel. What, what is it? What is it? Later, people. Um, <laughs> from a dude. <laughs> no. Not yet. We're almost no, done. No, um, I need to summon my inner Randy Zimmerman today. Okay. Because some folks out there need to get an education. Mm. So, if you head over to my Facebook page, I have clearly defined two words sabotage yes and expose mm -hmm. there is a huge difference between those two words so y'all need to go learn them the word in clear definition and i just wanted everybody to be in the know mm -hmm. <laughs> in the know, in the know. I, I saw what you did there 
I heard what you did there. Um, yeah, uh, Jody McPhee uh, from the desk of a small press publisher says, tell me uh, about it. I suck at social media at times. Yeah, um, content creators for the most part are busy creating content. Right. And so when they're like, why isn't my book selling and stuff like that? It's like, because you probably don't have an online presence. You probably don't know how to use keywords and hashtags effectively and, and all of those things. It's alert. It's another learning curve. I mean, I didn't come out of the gate knowing what I know. Uh, if you look at my Twitter account, my Twitter is like 10 years old. And I just barely hit 5,000 people, okay? Well, because I didn't start focusing on it until about maybe two and a half years ago, you know, where it's like, okay, let me let me grow this faster. It's been, it's been a while, right? And so now it is because uh, I'm like, okay, I have, not that I really have time for it, but I need to put in time to do it. And so that's the, you know, so my focus has been there. And I always tell people, um, you can sign up for every damn social media platform that's out there. I highly recommend that you do. The only reason why you want to do that is to lock in your username. Okay. I see too many creators out there who are trying to build a brand, but they've got a uh, schmoo on one as a username and they, they've got Bubba on another username. And yeah. it's like, wait a minute, what, how are you, how are people going to find you? Link tree. Keep it simple. Stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. Kiss theory. Okay. So if you look for me, most of the time it is, Mayor J99, M E R E J99. Been using it since 1999. That's why that's the username. Um, and so, I, again, you know, like Nita did a Google search on me when we first started hanging out and she found all my shit. It wasn't when we first started hanging out. I wish if I had done it when we first started hanging out, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, who is this woman? She's been around for like, decades um but but uh, that's what i mean it's like sign up for everything lock in your username don't lose the passwords okay because you might eventually go to it but um create a profile create a backlink to the thing you're trying to grow and then um focus on where your audience is you want your main focus where your audience is, where they are active and engaged. And then later on, you can go to those places and play a little bit. It's like, oh, let, let me get a couple followers here. You don't want to spend too much time there. But have a pulse. Have a profile. Put up your picture. Put up your link. Because all of those backlinks lead to one place. And that is you, if you're doing it right. So, hey, how many seconds do I have before copyright? Ten? Uh, yeah, something like that. Here you go, Jody. Hold up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, we got angry music going on right now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there, too. All right. Um, yeah, so that is the tip of the day. And part of the reason why I'm doing that is um, Nita doesn't know this, but I am volunteering her to do some extra recording in the background so we can talk about stuff like this why because we have a patreon page now <gasps> yes we do look at that look at those eyes aren't they beautiful she's got beautiful eyes <laughs> mm -hmm. uh but those these will not be uh these recordings are going to be exclusive to patreon so uh what we are doing over there is we're going to have some marketing tips um, we are going to have some, um, features where you can get featured on the show, uh, for a certain tier. And I'm also going to be updating the website to have, uh, different services. So we're going, we are actually very service oriented as far as what we're building. And, uh, it's coming to a point where now we feel kind of confident with our numbers in our outreach that, um, that we can do that. Um, one thing that I can tell you, uh, and you can mark this, is that I would never charge anybody to be on a show. No. I would never charge you to be on um, 
um, on Ragin or try and get you introduced to somebody else who has a show. Because, I mean, frankly, there are so many podcasts out there that you turn around and you're going to bump into a podcast or a live streamer. Yeah. So I, find it ridiculous that people so I, I would talking. never, ever do that. Service oriented means the time it takes for me to open up my friggin' Photoshop, create cards or create videos, um, and then um, adding that, whether it is, um, you know, one of the one of the tiers on our Patreon is that if you do not have a website, but you want a web presence that isn't Linktree, which I think is a valuable tool as well, um, we're going to have a spot for you on our website that you can direct traffic to. And for really cheap, you can go to Namecheap and get a redirect link so that it goes to that page. So that is something that is a service where you're you're going to have a landing spot on RageAndAVC.com. Um, and that I think that's a valuable tool for people who don't have the time to build a website because I used to think that everybody needed one. And I in a way I still do because I think everybody should have a little home on the web. Um, but but they don't have time. An entire site to have to maintain. Right. You don't need right. an entire site. You need a landing spot. So that is something that we are offering. Um, and, you know, with the uh, server costs, the, the you know, just the, the price of putting up a website. Um, thankfully, I know how to build it, so I don't have to pay anybody. You know, I do it for, for myself. Uh, but, you know, it, it's the same thing with comic books. It's like, you know, you have some people who are writers and artists, so they don't need that extra cost, right? Well, that's what I do with websites. Like, uh, thankfully, I know how to build them, so I don't have to pay somebody to, to do decent ones. Um, so, yeah, I mean, head over to our Patreon site and uh, take a look at, around at the different tiers. Um, I am open to suggestions, too. Uh, I think our price points are actually on the lower end. But uh, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because I, I'm i not out to take advantage of anybody. Um, as far as, you know, what you guys need, um, because we're all hustling to make a buck, sell our books and our services and stuff like that. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, but actually, just Ragin is going to keep on going. Um, Ragin with our interviews are going to keep on going. Um, uh, we've got uh, we've got Arrow Comics 4.0. Right now, at Indie Vault, as uh, you know, we're the social media managers. That takes a lot more time to literally say we are the social media managers of, because we literally take over the social media. Um, so, as far as clients and stuff like that, I don't know, Nita and I really haven't talked about it, but I don't know that we are going to take on too many more. I am not open social. To this time. Yeah. But what we can do is share out your stuff, which is why we have Little Bastard promos, which is why we're building out the Rage at AVC website. And I was thinking of a way to incorporate that into the Patreon too, not sharing in general because we do that anyway, but say yeah. like, say like we guarantee you this amount of times, this many days within the 30 days of your month's subscription. Yeah. No, like well, yeah, within your month's subscription. So if you know that you've got a campaign going or something like that, and you want guaranteed your post is going to be out there hitting those uh, those numbers, uh, like the impressions a, a set them out. Each, yeah, you know. Yeah, and, and have that so that you're like literally on a calendar and in a rotation, rather than uh, we're just going to pick and choose whatever we want. This which day. is you what I do the majority of the time anyway, is the pick and mm -hmm. choose thing. Whereas yeah. if they were on the Patreon, we'd have a list and we'd go that that's priority. And then the others come in behind because yeah. I'm not going to just stop randomly promoting because that's, I've discovered a lot of amazing people that way. I know. I love the new to me people. It's like, because they're not in my Facebook circle. Oh, what? How does that work? Yeah, that by by opening up your eyes and seeing what else is out there, and and because we've been curating, I've found a lot of new to me stuff. So, uh, yeah, Patreon would be nice to not only pay uh, help offset the cost of some of our challenges because that costs money too, yes. but um, 
but uh, to, to buy books. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I've got a I've got a problem yeah. now. I, I love indie books and I love talking to the people who are in the industry. So is that here? Was that thunder? You guys get thunder? Did it yeah. did it move yeah. over to you? Because it's yeah. just about over here. I told you it could take five. It's still raining, but yeah. I think the thunderstorm is over. I've got 70 pound dogs underneath my desk. Hey, Once. I got an idea. Yeah. Let's bail. Yeah. We love you guys. If All right. Just tuning in, go back and watch the video because you need to get yourself an education in BND No. And Meredith, 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 I have something to show you. Oh, oh. my goodness. Okay. But before we go, we need to make sure oh, we yes. give uh, Indie Volt a little bit of love for a 10% discount on your Gemini mailers. Use coupon code VOLT10 at GeminiComicsSupply.com. And that is, again, for a 10% discount on your Gemini mailers. Save some money. Use the code. Save, and, save your products, too. And? And? Show JD some love. Oh, we're going to show JD some love because Always. we have a closing party for him on Monday at 10 a.m. Guess what I have to do? I have to set the alarm clock. That sucks. But I love JD. I will do it for him. I promise. Okay, here we go. JD's closing party Monday, 10 a.m. Eastern. Make sure that you hit the notifications bell so you know when we go live. Here we go. And we've got Little Bastard promos. We were talking about that earlier. Head over to Facebook. Look for Little Bastard promos. It is a public group. Again, open to all indie creators. Don't be a jerk. Uh, and spam. We've got plenty of posts that you can interact with. Uh, but we definitely want you to do some shameless self-promotion. Uh, head over there. Tell your friends about it. Let's grow that group because it's uh, it helps us find you it helps uh the rest of you discover new to you people um let me see unearthed is a very good idea for you guys to take a chunk of your time and watch this it was a uh it was a really good discussion but it was almost four hours long so very long um but important all right important to know who you are um associating with who you are working with i think that's very important and um because the warning I'm, signs along the way <laughs> i'm feeling a little bit grinchy uh plays.org is uh it, it's a fun place uh so if you have a little bit of time where you want to just do some mindless games and things like that go over there and uh check it out um a lot of stuff like a uh, original uh solitaire games you you have things like pog and Things like that. Yeah. No, I don't spend a lot of time there, Nita. Don't give me those eyes. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I really don't. Uh, if I was playing games, honestly, it would be on my phone. It would be Candy Crush. And um, yeah, Candy Crush, I think is. Mm -hmm. I don't play it anymore. I swear. I don't. I miss Tetris, though. Hmm. <laughs> so anyway, so I was showing you, like, again, if you go to the Patreon and you check out the different tiers, you're going to see the difference between, like, the static card, which is this, where we can do an overlay and we talk about it, or we can do the video like we did for J.D. Calderon. And should I play TARDIS and give Christian some love? Go ahead. Why not? All right. Because we're almost out of here anyway. All right. Here we go. And this is what I mean, like, by by the bumps and stuff like that. And as our network grows... Um, there, there is value in it because your eyes are going to be on it. This is the legend of the traveling TARDIS. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to us wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Also catch us on the HWWS Web TV YouTube channel. Subscribe today and become part of the legend. Yeah. 
So um, give some love to Legend of the Traveling Tardis. He's got a podcast. He's got a, a YouTube channel that he's trying to grow. In fact, they did a premiere of a Halloween special. Um, so go over there, give us some love, subscribe. And again, wherever it is that you're tuning in from, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Hit the notifications bell if you want to know when we go live, because sometimes we don't know. Um, that's Most it. We don't know. We've got work to do. Yeah, let's do it. Bye. All right. I guess, uh, Nita. Throw my dudes. We're out of here, you guys.